Salaam people, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I've come down to Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi. This is for the Global Conference of Human Fraternity. So like you can see there, right behind me is where the entrance is. And they're going to be having a lot of discussions about various things like religion, cultures, ethnic backgrounds. And this is primarily done because of the visit of His Holiness Pope and uh, the meeting with uh, the Imam. So this is going to be quite an interesting and a really, really... I would say big deal for the UAE keeping in mind we're having a lot of conversations on this particular topic so stay tuned for this vlog. This is the first ever visit of a Pope to the Arabian Peninsula emphasizing the UAE's position as a global capital for tolerance and humanitarianism and a global meeting point for people from all over the world. Human fraternity is more about friendship and mutual respect with 200 plus nationalities from different ethnic, religious and racial groups live harmoniously in the UAE. Today as the youth, we hope to make this a peaceful world. Okay, so we have Father Rifat here. So I just want to know from you, Father, what do you think about this event? Um, the His Holiness Pope visiting and you've got uh, Imam Azhar as well. So all of them at one table having discussions yes. and all of us from different cultures and backgrounds right here in the UAE. What do you think about this? Yeah, this is uh, not the first time that they meet. Uh, they meet. Uh, of course. Sheikh Al Azhar uh, met with the Pope uh, several times and they uh, started there a new friendship between a Sheikh and uh, the Pope. Amazing. And now every time a Sheikh is coming or going to uh, Italy, he goes through the Vatican in order to have a cup of tea or coffee <laughs> with the Pope. That's this, amazing. Yeah, this friendship means a lot for us. Of course. The, uh, the image itself talks really talks for all our believers, Christians and Muslims, that Christians and Muslims in the world, we we make 58% uh, of the global uh, humanity or population. population yeah. If all the Christians and Muslims are living in peace and serenity, in harmony, as we say now, because we are in the week of harmony among religions, and this week, first week of February, wow. it was adopted from a Jordanian suggestion, Much. adopted by all the countries in the UN. So we are talking about the harmony in the week of harmony and in the year of tolerance, tolerance March and the Emirates. That's amazing, that's amazing. We will start small friendships, friendship between the Sheikh and the Pope, friendship among the people. It will construct the trust as the Pope himself said in his video uh, message yes. uh, two days ago. Yes, yes, yes. We are opening a new page of tolerance, of mutual cooperation for the a human dignity. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Father. Thank Father. you. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Later, I attended one of the workshops and noticed Her Excellency Nora al Kabi, Minister of Culture and Knowledge Development in the UAE, moderate a woman panel discussion on the principles of human fraternity. This shows how engaged the leaders of UAE are with the rest of the world. I am so impressed that of her leadership for giving women chances. Yeah. Yes. To become the self-determined women. No? UAE are people of determination. No? I think leaders of all religions should really give women the chance to grow and become leaders, co-leaders, co-creators. So guys, right now I'm with Baisa Mohinder Singh who's come down all the way from Birmingham. We just would like to know exactly what are your thoughts on uh, this happening here right in the UAE. This is a great initiative. Um, you can see that religions are coming closer yes. to f for finding solutions for the crisis that we have internationally and globally now with us. So it is a very good initiative and the impact will be great. This is a historical initiative has not been done before to get all the people of different religions together because when religions are together you will find peace of course the true spirit of religion is peace because it provides you with good values and virtues so i think after all the secularism spirituality now is coming in the forefront so we're very happy so we wish the children they can also be good in their own respective religions you know if go 
God Almighty, who is the wisest of the wiser, if he sent you in a Muslim family, be a good Muslim. If he sent you in a Jewish family, be a good Jew, and so on. If you're born in a Hindu family, you should be a good Hindu. And a good human being. And a good human being. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, there's a lot of things happening on the side. His Excellency Anaya and the Minister of Tolerance is meeting uh, with a lot of religious leaders for a peace meeting and there's so much things going on and it's all about how UAE is really promoting the year of tolerance in vision of uh, our late Baba Zayed. So it's, it's really an amazing feeling uh, to have the Papal Mass as well and most importantly all of this is happening in a melting pot of cultures and backgrounds that is the UAE. Till then guys this is Hamilok signing off. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Cheerio.